But I, yeah, right. but I know I know I'm in the right place here because I can feel the spirit. I am so excited. Look at this room. Look at the excitement. Feel this energy. And it's it, it is something beautiful to behold. And I'm very proud to come back here to tell you this is where it all began. A lot of folks don't realize that the momentum that we have now, the energy we have now began here in New Jersey over a year ago. When you saw something, you felt something, you understood something. Yes, we did! conversation on leadership and you helped define that leadership by electing one of the most powerful most inspiring and gutsy governors in the country yeah. in a better, stronger position 
And, you know, not to sing too much on the praise side, but she has really been there at the table for this state and believed, believed she was one of the first people to come to me when I became chairman and said, you need to look at this guy named Chris Christie. He's serious. He's the real deal. There's nothing like being a county chairman. It all rolls downhill, doesn't it? <laughs> I think you went that way. I'll be, let me go take a break. Uh, but no, there is no break for, for the chairman. Uh, and helping to organize and bring it all together is what it's all about. So, Chairman, thank you so much for your leadership. Their campaigns helped bring this event together uh, and to get the word out that we were going to rally around John and rally around uh, the party and get out to, to do the one thing that we need to do for the country and the fire Pelosi. So I want to thank Jack and Jim for... <laughs>
and that our governing now will require us to stand firmly on those principles and to appreciate what it took to build this nation and what it will take again to keep her strong and prosperous into the future and that our party is prepared to lead that way. More we're not, government! We're not looking to compromise on the size of government anymore. We're not looking to compromise on the spending anymore. We're not looking to compromise on the creation of debt and deficit. A child born this very hour comes into this world with a minimum of $42,000, $47,000 worth of debt before they take their first breath. That is not the legacy that we want to leave behind. We have been given as a nation the greatest generation has given us the, the wonderful opportunities of prosperity. What now will we have to have hand on to future generations? Well, it starts with the kind of leadership that we elect that we send to Washington. It starts with the kind of leadership you've already elected here in the state, in Governor Christie. Principled individuals who understand what the foundations are. We, the people, friends, still matters in this country. You know that if you're in That's no, right. It wasn't. And you showed us that in 2006. You showed us that in 2008. And in 2009, week 10, we stand with you now. Appreciate it. Finally! So this fight is not just about the slogan of firing Nancy Pelosi. It is about the actuality of firing Nancy Pelosi. What it means to people in this country to have that bad leadership moved off the stage. To have the bad leadership of Harry Reid moved off the stage. To put in place a new spirit that is born out of the people not out of some institution in Washington, D.C., not made up on Madison Avenue for some campaign, not fixated in some back room in, in some hall in Congress, but that emanates from the people. This man, John Runyon, stands here as your candidate, your nominee for Congress, because you want him to. You want him to.